Hi, right, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is just a little overview test video of a Cyclops Super. This is the AC version, 110, 120 volt. They do make a 12 volt version of this as well. Um, Cyclops is a, a pretty good brand for the most part. They have little quirks with them, but uh, not too bad. You know, you get a pretty good, uh, pretty good unit for the money. Um, they're pretty basic. Uh, they have just a single light here in the front that um, flashes with every click. And some people are like, well, that's just a dummy light. No, not necessarily. These lights have, do have a function to them. They are tied into the output side of the fence and ground through a little circuit board inside there. And if it's over like 3,000, 3,500 volts, this light will always flash. If it gets dropped down below that amount and the unit's still clicking, that light will go out. That means it tells you, okay, I've got a problem out on my fence somewhere, possibly. Now, if you're not sure if the fence is the problem, you know, before you start doing all that running around the fence trying to track down problems, just unplug the unit or turn it off, whatever. Unhook your fence and ground wires from it and plug it back in. If the light goes back to flashing and it's clicking, then the unit probably itself is probably okay and that you do have an is issue out there in the fence. But if you unplug everything from it, plug it back in and the unit uh, clicks but still no light, First thing you want to check is this right hand fuse. This, this ties into your fence and ground side and um, change it, uh, you know, ohm it out if you want. You can push and turn the thing. You can look at it, yeah, yeah it looks good, but I always, you can, they do, do come with some spare fuses, but if it looks good, it's probably okay. But every once in a while, these fuses, the little filament inside it will look intact in the glass part, but at a break on the inside of the silver part. So the best way to know if it's good or not is to go to an ohm meter go to continuity and see if it tests good which that's good so that's the first thing you'll do if the unit clicks and does not flash and you don't have the fence hooked up to it first thing you do is either check the fuse or change the fuse on the right hand side and the next thing uh, if you say you go out there and uh, you know the you do all your checks the unit uh, fuse is good unit clicks but light won't flash then you know for certain issues inside here then it would be best to ship it into a place like us and a little bit about us we are a repair place we work on these electric fence boxes of all brands and ages there are links down in the description below that you can click on go to our websites uh, fencerfixer.com is our website we do work on all brands ages we work on things that are 50 60 years old stuff that's built today you know so we work on a little bit of everything now another troubleshooting thing you could do, if it doesn't come on at all, it's not the right hand fuse. This only goes, the right hand fuse only ties into the fence and ground only. Left hand fuse over here, right there, is um, ties into your AC side. So if it doesn't come on at all, first thing you do is, is push and turn, pull the lid off or the cap off there. And you can either look at it or, or ohm it out like we did the other one. And if it tests um, good, um, then, then it's, and it still won't come on, then there's a problem on the inside. But if the fuse is bad, then you'll change the fuse, try it again. If it goes to work, and hey, great. Still, if it pops the fuse again, uh, since you plug it in, or if the fuse doesn't pop but still won't click, then you know, okay, I've got issues on the inside, then you'll want to send it into a place like us. Um, but let's turn this on real quick. There's a little light flashing on it there. Let's uh, get the tester out here. It's pretty stout units. 12 output, Joule 16 stored. They do make a couple sizes bigger and they make about three or four sizes smaller. The nice thing is Cyclops... Um, so it puts out about 10... Oh, this meter's kind of not quite accurate on the higher Joule stuff, but it's putting out... Uh, about 10,000 volts, 9.5, somewhere in that range, output voltage-wise. So a pretty, pretty sharp snap to it, um, or pretty good voltage to it. Let me um, turn it off real quick. I was trying to find a piece of wire that we can jump across there. Let me, um, here, let's get a piece of wire here. And we'll strip it off. Um, 
Yeah, but they have a pretty hard snap to them. Pretty bright, pretty bright spark. That pretty big heavy duty transformers in them. They don't go bad too often unless they're older or, or lightning gets a hold of them. Sometimes the transformers get hit on the fence and ground side and cause them to short out. Now right, we're going to go from ground and we're going to reach over and get really close to the fence side. So, hard hitting unit. All their units are pretty, uh, for whatever jewel it is, it's pretty hard hitting stuff. Um, so, some people will buy these bigger jewel units because they want the big jewels, they want a lot of power, but they got like a small area that they're trying to fence in. But they're like, well, I want all the power I can get. Like sometimes you don't, you know, you pay for this kind of power, you got too small amount of fence, you might not be getting the power that you paid for. So sometimes it's better to maybe drop down to like the Brute, which is like a 10 stored 8 output, or drop down to the um, Champ, I think it's like 6.5, 6.3 stored, like 5 output, you know. And those hit, I mean, the voltage is about the same. The spark's not quite as bright because it's lower jewel, but it still hits hard. You'll, you you won't be able to hold it but one time, and then you're going to be on your back jumping around or whatever from getting hit. Um, but pretty good units. I mean, we don't get them in that often. We, I mean, we do. they do come in. It's particularly used a 2020 model, so it's not that old. And I think Lightning got a hold of it um, back in the fall. Uh, so... They do have some good lightning protection on the inside. They got a surge protector board on the AC side and past the fuse. They got an output protection board inside there for the fence and ground side. They got um, later versions have these little, well, even older ones. They got protection things across the capacitor to try to help uh, protect them from lightning as well. As keep you know keep the longevity uh, on there to help those capacitors out. Um, but um. Yeah, so if you've got one, you're welcome to send it in. Uh, here Again, this is our information right here. Like I said, links down below. <clears throat> so, But we do work on all brands and ages. Um, free quotes. And a year and a half warranty on the repairs that we do. So, well, that's basically it for this little video. I want to make a little quick thing about it. Kind of tell you how to troubleshoot some of the functions of it and stuff. Um... A lot, there's a lot going on with these things on the inside, so I would, myself, if you're not sure how to fix things, how to test things, you know, just send it to a place like me that does this for a living, and we do it every day, you know, we keep, we have all the parts most times, have all the tools and the trade to, to do this stuff, we've done it for years and years and years, uh, this isn't a hobby, this is my livelihood, so... That's how I make my money and pay pay for our bills here at the house is by working on these fence chargers for people. So, but in the meantime, we'll see you guys later. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate that. Check out some of our other videos. we got 700 plus videos on YouTube of all sorts of things. And hit that thumbs up button that tells you YouTube and their algorithm crap that we're, that this is videos that you like and maybe more of our videos will show up for you. I don't know how the, all that internet youtube magic stuff works but i think that's how it works but anyways until next time we'll see you guys later on and have the good rest of your day